Hey, what's up? It's Mike Hoder here, out here in uh, Brooklyn, New York, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a pegless double peg grind. And you're watching RideBMX.com. Starting out pegless grinding, I used to, I used to usually like grind square rails for the most part. I don't know. That's a because you can put your pedal down square, you know, like ledges with good with good angles to them and shit, and you can grind and like you're able to put your pedal down and balance a little bit and figure it out. And then once you get the basics down, your little ledge or whatnot, you uh, I don't know. It's best to my favorite doing it like double pegs are on round rails because uh you lock in a little better as opposed to a square rail where you're kind of like you might slip off at any moment starting out doing pegless grinds on round rails if i were you i'd find a uh i'd find like a mellow a little mellow of a rail downstairs or down a bank's fine like i'm doing it this time is down a bank so it's not bad it's uh you're not gonna really get killed if you miss not gonna fall down a bunch of stairs. I don't know. First thing you do is when you when you hop up to it. I mean, obviously, you, you hop up to it and just make sure you get your make sure you get your axles above above the rail. And the thing I do is I aim to hit more of the. Uh, I try to hit the the side of the spokes, like more of the spokes first, because as long as you hit the spokes, you know that you're gonna fall down in your drop house and you should be good sitting there. I don't know. I tend to just aim mostly for the side of the wheel the spokes and then you land on the hub pretty good but once you get it down it'll be a lot easier to just land straight on the axles you pretty much know exactly where your bike is at every moment and that's that's another reason why I like I started out like riding pegless and shit is because it's just there's nothing like it your bike's completely just no nothing on it no brakes no pegs simple to work on Make, I don't know, I, honestly I think grinding without pegs is a lot, it's just a lot better and it's a lot cleaner and it doesn't sound so crazy and rough. I tend to do like a lot of rail 180s and shit, it's just, it's a fun trick for me. It, you just, once you're on the rail, just try and get to the end of the rail and you just kind of snap it. It's, it's a cool trick, just the way it like pops out and shit and I got them down now to where I can pretty much do them on just about everything that I want to square rails, round rails, anything. It's just a, and it's a cool looking trick. If anything, just try to get your front dropout on because even if your back dropout misses, you still get like a pedal or something. Something will grab. You won't get killed like you like you will if you miss the front. I've missed the front quite a few times and gotten killed. <laughs> so when you, for, when you hop on the rail, once you get onto the rail and you start grinding a little bit and you start feeling yourself grind, Try and keep a little further forward on your bike, just so you, just so your uh, your front dropout's a little more locked on. The heavier it is on the on the dropout, the probably the strong, you know, the stronger the hold is on the grind. And yeah, you can kind of adjust your pedals too. Just I know they say it's cheating when you hit the rail, but with your pedal, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> like to give a shout out to uh, S and M Bikes, Low Tech Shoes, Animal Parts. Uh, Quentin Hats and 10 Deep Clothing for helping me out and hooking me up with shit for this, you know, so far. <laughs> Get me through life. 